His nicknames included Edward the Caresser, Dirty Bertie. So is it true that King Edward VII had a chair designed for, how should we say, naughty purposes? Mm -hmm. I heard he was... I heard he was something of a sexaholic, that fits. Because this chair is in Paris, referred to as the love chair. The love chair, (laughs) okay. The love throne. Um, And allegedly the king had it designed to support his um, large mass while sex workers did various things in different positions. (laughs) Great. Goodness me, yeah, it's got handles coming out of everywhere. and There is reclining, it looks more like a sledge. (laughs) However, I'm afraid this, there's no evidence at all that Edward even used this chair. And it is one of those apocryphal stories that tells a sort of wider truth. Uh, he did, of course, have lots of mistresses. Um, but the biographer Jane Ridley, her research suggests that even when he was canoodling with, with his mistresses, who often got quite a raw deal out of things, including uh, Queen Camilla her great great grandmother, um, Alice Keppel, of course, was one of one of them. My goodness, keeping it in the family then. Well, yeah, she actually uh, Camilla apparently used um, this as a bit of a chat up line to Charles. Um, yes, but according to Jane Ridley, the biographer, they're not sure that he ever actually would have actually did the things that you'd need such an ambitious chair to do, shall we say? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, if you're the king, you get someone to wipe down after you. 